What is up guys, me luck here and today we're back in action on another Minecraft video. Today we're taking a look at the jam packed entry uh, running red. It looks really sweet and I'm excited to play it. Uh, sorry if you guys just heard some noise, I moved my mic closer. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at all, make sure to go ahead and click that like button. It really helps me out and I would love your faces even more than I already do. So uh, this mod pack is all based around blood magic. If I could compare it, I would say it's like Agrarian Skies, except for... There's no ex nihilo. You do everything through the blood altar. Um, so you're presented with different problems than you would be in, let's say, a mod pack like Crash Landing or a Great Skies and stuff. It, it, it's pretty sweet. So we're going to take a look at this. Uh, it's a darker story. It has some dark lore in it. Um, just be forewarned that it is a darker story. I don't know exactly how dark it gets, but uh, I'm just, you know, just forewarning there. Um, so, actually, all of these all of these quest lines here are named after a song from My Chemical Romance, and these are actually the lyrics to My Chemical Romance. And the basic, uh, the basis or premise of the story is you're actually dead, so you're not necessarily presented with all the same problems you would be in, let's say, Agrarian Skies or a similar mod pack because you're already dead. So you're not really supposed to be worrying about food or dying or health. Um, you have different things to actually worry about. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some of this stuff. I'm going to grow this tree first of all. And there's going to be several key differences you're going to notice as we kind of play through this. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to fast forward or do any of that kind of stuff uh, to begin with. But um, let's go ahead just before we before we check out some of this. Let's go ahead and chop down a lot of this tree here. I'm going to chop down. That should be good right here. And then you'll notice whenever I turn this, it doesn't turn into planks. It turns into chopped wood, which is uh, by this mod called Tabula Rasa. And it, um, actually, that used to be a game back in the day. I remember NCSoft publishing a game. I, I played it. Uh, I was playing, like, Lineage 2 at the time. And uh, I remember the game Tabula Rasa. Uh, it was pretty cool. So now let's go ahead and stab ourselves in the face a little bit. And uh, you're given a generous amount of food and uh, golden apples. So go ahead and heal yourself. Make Just go ahead and start eating and stuff to your heart's consent. You're, you're not really supposed to be worried about um, conserving food or any of that kind of stuff. So it's it's a different it's a different kind of play style. So let's go ahead and just stab her face a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, place this oak sapling. No, I'm actually not. And then we're going to start transmuting some of this wood into uh, planks. And each of this costs, I think, maybe 50 millibuckets. Um, oh, dang, you need an empty hand to do this. Uh, 50 millibuckets per per wood, something like that. I think a lot of the stuff is uh, around 50 millibuckets. Um, it's not a lot of blood, but it's kind of like a equivalent exchange system a little bit. You, uh, you sacrifice some chopped wood and some blood, and you'll get some planks back. So I, I think it's pretty neat. I like the concept and the, the premise of everything. And uh, I, I, I don't know. I just think it's uh, it's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and make a crafting table. Boom, done. I'm going to set this down, and then we're going to grab some of this. We're going to go ahead and make a... Dang it, I need to... We're going to make a thing here. Boom, like that. We're going to make a crook. I'm going to go ahead and throw some of the, this stuff in here. And uh, grab it. Let me put this crook over here. I'm going to get some more chopped wood. And I think right off the bat, we're trying to actually get um, some string. So I need a worm. So let's go ahead and look at the quest book here. Click to start. Our Lady of Sorrows. Um, so the first quest is going to be uh, getting some oak wood planks, which it this all explains to you how it works and what you need to do between each uh, step and process. But I'm, I already know how to do some of the things, so I might skip over reading some of this stuff. But this just explains that if you uh, get chopped wood and stick it into the thing, then it's going to give you oak planks. So let's go ahead and claim the reward. Gives you some more golden apples, which is sweet. Gives you another heart. And like I said before, uh, dying isn't really a big concern, and food and all this kind of stuff isn't a huge concern. Because um, you're actually already dead, so you don't really have to worry about dying when you're already dead. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Uh, let's see, I guess a couple more oak planks here. And uh, let's start Let's start getting some of this tree. And hopefully we get a worm, like, right off the bat. Because I need some string. And uh, you guys will see why here in a second. What I might do, also, watch out. This platform is weirdly shaped. So you might fall off. And uh, that's going to be kind of sucky if you lose all your stuff right off the bat. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably... Pause it here. I'm going to keep chopping down some wood and uh, maybe try to infest a few trees and get some uh, string. And then uh, we'll be back and uh, we'll progress from there. 
Okay, we're back, so it's probably been about 20 minutes or so. It took me a while to actually get the worm to infect the tree, but if you guys don't know how to do that, then all you gotta do is uh, you keep uh, crooking until you get a, a worm, and then uh, I just grew a new tree. Right-click the worm into the leaves, and they turn into infested leaves, and eventually they kind of spread like a disease across all these other leaves. <laughs> uh, some freaking tree aids. <laughs> uh, so now now we just take a, we take a crook here, and we can just uh, crook the leaves, and it's going to give us a crap ton of string. Now this is the next step in the process because you can actually transmute the string into dirt. So that's that's exactly how you get dirt. And then if I'm not mistaken, I think dirt can actually be turned into netherrack. And then netherrack can be turned into... Uh, yeah, so it takes uh, 50 LP to turn string into dirt. And then uh, you can turn uh, dirt into... Let's see. There we go. Into netherrack costs 100 LP. And then you can turn, um, oh wait, balls. Whatever, you can turn netherrack into cobble after the point. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, um, crook all of these leaves real quick. And then uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stab my myself in the face a few times. And you guys probably noticed I built a little platform out here. I've been throwing all my stuff in the chest just so I don't lose it. And uh, the first thing I did was actually get rid of these little carpenter wedges right here because I'm pretty sure you can fall through them, which is pretty dangerous. And then right here, we actually have some vines. Uh, so I don't know if the vines are there intentional so you can um, build underneath. But let's see. Let's see if vines can actually be turned into anything. I haven't actually looked this up. Nope, just scaffolding. So it's just so you can actually get underneath the platform and build like an under thing, I guess. Which is pretty sweet. So that turns in. Oh, yeah. So I left it there so it turns straight into cobblestone. So let's uh, let's watch this happen here. Let me go ahead and eat. So that's there's dirt. Then I can grab some dirt. Now let's uh, do some of this. Let me stab myself in the face a little bit more. And so it turns into dirt. Then it'll turn into um, netherrack. Then after that, oh my, rain, stop it, stop it. The video settings, minimal. There we go. Okay, and then it turns into cobble. So what you'll probably want to do is to upgrade your tools a little bit so you can cut down trees e easier. You might want to go ahead and get three cobble and turn it into an axe. That's probably a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and eh, throw that off the edge. <laughs> I don't need that stupid axe anymore. I've I've got cobble axes. Yes, I'm the master of blood magic. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get a cobble axe here. Eh, like that, like so. Now, I kind of want to see if uh, cobble can be turned. Cobble Can cobble actually be turned into anything itself? Let's see. No, it doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So it looks like cobble is the final step in this little process here. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up our quest book. Let's continue the quest system a little bit. So we got string for a noose. Nice. Uh, so we just had to make a crook, and then we had to get a silkworm. So we get some more string. We get some more golden apples, which is sweet. There we go. And then, like I said, it gives you a bunch of stuff. Now let's go ahead and start on dirty blood. So we're going to need four dirt. Let's go ahead and... Uh, get for dirt real quick. Let me eh, 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 stab myself a little. Do stabby stab in the face. Let me go ahead and eat a eat an apple. There we go. ah no okay. Whew. Uh, can I transmute you apple? Do you turn into the almighty apple blood thing? Okay, looks like you don't actually turn into anything really special. Okay, and then do I have four? Yep, I have four pieces of dirt. Let's go ahead and manual tech. We get a reward bag and a golden apple. So let's go ahead and oh ooh, I could. Mm. And I'll pick the reward bag because I kind of want to see what's in these reward bags. Ooh, first one. Ooh, gold ore berry. Nice. Pure luster. Oh, yeah. And then we get a diamond. Sweet. So from what I understand, uh, I could be confusing this with another video I saw, but I think uh, the only way to actually get ores in this mod pack is by using ore berries. At least that's the initial way to get ores. I don't know if you can get ores a different way later on, but uh, ore berry bushes is the way you start out at first. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I forget how this works. How does this work? Uh, let's see, gold ore berry. Uh, oh, you just straight up smelt it. Also oh, one equals two, that's pretty, that's a sweet deal. Um, I'm assuming the next step you'd probably wanna do is get enough um, uh, cobble here. Let's go ahead and make another crook and get some more string. There we go, perfect. Let's go ahead and get some more string. And I'm assuming, yeah, the next step is gonna be probably trying to get a furnace. So you're gonna need quite a bit of cobble. Uh, I already wasted three cobble on an ax, but that's fine. 
Oh, man, I have the hiccups. I don't know why. Okay. So let's have this turn into a bunch of cobble. Let's go ahead and uh, heal ourselves a little bit. And then let's stabby stab yourselves in the face here. Let's look here. Now we can do this quest, cobblestone. So I need four cobblestone cobbling it together. Okay, so let's get four cobblestone. Eh. Let's go ahead and turn the netherrack into cobblestone. We, oh my god, will you stop raining? Blood gods, stop it. Stop raining. I don't need rain. I don't want your stinking rain, okay? Okay, so one more cobblestone. <laughs> uh, so we got all the netherrack. Now we need, okay, so, the, yeah, there we go. We're on our way. I'm going to take, I'm going to recaffeinate here for a second. Oh, yeah. Mountain Dew goes down real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, netherrack. Nice. Oh, and we actually get ooh, we get sixteen cobbles, so we can actually make a furnace, which is sweet. There we go. So let's go ahead and turn uh, this in. Claim reward. Sweet, and we get another reward bag. Let's go ahead and see what. The, ooh, I get ah, uh, that's stupid. That's stupid. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you. I'll I'll nah. I don't want you either. <laughs> Watch a zombie just spawn right here and start rape, raping my face like when I actually really needed it. Okay, now we got all four of these. Now we can start on the flames of hell. So we need a nether furnace and a furnace furnace. So let's go ahead and make a furnace furnace. Eh, we got that. And then we need a nether. Okay, so we've done a little bit more stabby stabby. Also, I have uh, <laughs> I have uh, infected another tree with tree aids. So uh, that's been going along, along like nicely. So we have a bunch of netherrack here. I went ahead and made a few extra because uh, I think we're going to need some more. I'm not 100% sure yet. So let's go ahead and fuel it up for anger. So now I need some charcoal. And it's going to give me a bunch of charcoal and a bunch of hearts. So I should have um, probably uh, known that. So let's go ahead and stick this down here. Um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and stick some of this in here. And then we're going to... Probably let's go. Let's plant. Let's let's get a couple pieces of wood here. And um, eh, let me grab that. Let me get a or I mean a couple pieces of dirt, I should say. And we're gonna go ahead and expand our tree operation to be a little bit farther out here. Let's go ahead, eh, right there. And then let me let me come over to this edge, and do eh, there we go. Perfect. Now we're gonna grow a couple more trees on here, and these are gonna be kind of like our I guess our our oak bearing trees they're going to bear a sweet oak babies that we can then sacrifice to the gods themselves perfect and uh, I'm glad there's no one currently listening to me because they think I'm some kind of s crazy maniac person that's uh, trying to like murder their families or something I don't know <laughs> I don't know but let's go ahead and uh, let's chop let's get some let's get some of this uh, charcoal going that we need for the next part of the quest okay perfect I'm not even gonna worry about saplings right here because we have plenty of saplings so I'm just gonna let this naturally decay on its own I guess perfect okay so we have nine pieces let's turn this in here and uh, I actually just want, I just want one piece to melt and then we're going to use the rest or this one piece of charcoal to uh, get another eight pieces of charcoal. So that's going to be pretty sweet. There we go. Okay. So now that's going, let's go ahead and look. So we have this guy. Um, can we look at any other th quest lines here? So we have famous last words, which looks like this is, um, oh, so do we have witchery in here as well? Hmm. Let's see. Is witchery in here? Let's see. At witcher. Yep, we have witchery in here, which is a sweet mod. Also, we I think there's mechanism in here too. Yeah, I love mechanism. They, people never make packs with mechanism, and I don't know why. At least not on the Feed the Beast launcher. And like, I'm glad that mechanism is in here. It almost makes <laughs> like I, I just I love mechanism. Also, I'm glad witchery is in here too. You don't see that in too many packs either. So I I, I think this mod pack is sweet. Um, I think anyone who's interested and this so far we should definitely give it a try. Let's go ahead and uh, look. So we have that. Now let's look at drowning lessons. Ooh, nothing there. <laughs> drowning lessons. That's and then we have head first in the halos. Vampires don't won't hurt you. Skylines and turn stills. Turn stills. <laughs> okay, and we're almost on to our last piece of charcoal here. Oh, ooh, we're getting some sweet drops. Some sweet loot. Let's go ahead and. 
There we go. Let's uh, let's plant a few more trees right here. Help this guy decay a little bit. And then, uh, there we go, perfect. And then we're actually going to grow this to get some more wood. Uh, there we go, perfect. Okay, so uh, we should have the charcoal now. Let's go ahead and turn this guy in. Our Lady of Sorrows. Manual tech, perfect. Now I can pick a reward bag or golden apple. I'm going to take uh, the golden, wait, I mean the reward bag. Uh, let's go ahead and, ooh, we get, ooh, we get ender pearl, bone, rotten flesh, string, and gunpowder. Nice. Nice, a nice little variety. Let's see what our next one is. So we have congealed blood. Uh, so now, ooh, and then we get all the ore berry bushes. So now this requires going over to this other island here. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, where is this other island? Okay, so we made it up here. I actually had enough wood. I just turned it all into slabs, and I had enough wood already. So if you make it over here to the island, you're going to see there's going to be some cows to start a cow farm and uh, some pigs to start a pig farm. Also, you're going to have a bunch of sweet uh, ore berry bushes here. So let's... Oh, and a bunch of uh, blood. Does the blood give you any sort of buffs? No, it does not. Okay. I'm assuming this will be useful for something. Maybe it works just like water as well. I don't know. Uh, let's... Uh, no, no. Dang. <laughs> I just murdered the crap out of that pig. He just got brutally. <laughs> I was just like, pig, get, throw your face off the edge. <laughs> I just threw him off the edge. So we have a bunch of ore berry bushes. Let's go ahead and uh, grab our questing book. Let's turn this quest in. I visited. And now I need four iron ingots. So I'm guessing what you do is I can. And uh, also, if you guys notice, there's actually another building uh, way back there. Way back there. If I can actually load it. Come on, load, man. Yeah, see right there? So, it uh, looks like there's going to be all kinds of secrets on this map for you to find. And uh, I think it's going to be freaking fantastic. So, let's go ahead and get some more dirt up and ready. And uh, we're going to start growing these ore berry bushes. Maybe I'll put these right here. And then we'll throw some. Oh, it has to be low light, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what it has to be. I think that's what it has to be anyway. So let's go ahead and. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> it's probably been about an hour, hour and a half or so. And I've been waiting for these stupid ore berries. I've just been kind of AFKing here. Waiting for these stupid ore berries to grow. And, like, I, I <laughs> they take so long to grow. It's ridiculous. And I didn't. I just built, like, a little makeshift area here. I know it looks like crap. They have to have darkness to uh, to grow. Also, if you have them in complete darkness, they, they will stack on top of each other. And they can grow up to three high. Uh, so, actually, I saw Purple, what he did was he actually uh, made a a shelving unit, kind of. So, you just take uh, slabs, and slabs actually uh, block out darkness complete, completely, kind of like a whole block would. So, you can have slabs that goes, like, right here, then, like, up here, and then you can actually re reach in between the cracks and uh, grab the stuff from the ore berries. So, he had slabs um, spaced every other, you know, half block up to three high, so these guys could actually grow up three high, and he just kind of went in there and grabbed stuff. So, yeah. Also, uh, in this pack only, each ore berry smelts into two, um, two things. So it's pretty sweet. Uh, you you really get a uh, once you kind of get the ore berry thing set up, you get a abundance of things that you need. But one thing I forgot to do is I could have actually made this way quicker. I could have made a watering can, uh, which makes ore berries grow faster. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a watering can. Um, so let me. Um, Let's see, watering can, I can go ahead and make this guy. And it's going to be empty at first, so uh, you're like, well, how do I fill it? You know. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to fill it uh, with blood. <laughs> the blood of my enemies. <laughs> uh, so, uh, And there's a lot of things I could have done uh, a little bit better with this whole setup here. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to head back out here, and we're going to swim up there. We're going to fill it up with blood. Let me... Oh, I... I, I, I. There we go. Okay, well, that was, that was almost bad. Hopefully, I still can uh, get up here. But I'm going to swim up this guy, and uh, we're, see, we're going we're gonna to see what's up here. So, uh, Actually, it looks like... Oh, dang. It looks like I don't have enough. I might have to... Uh, 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 there we go. Uh, <laughs> oh, so I don't drown. Uh, oh, oh, oh. 
Uh, 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 uh. Why am I? Why am I like falling s sideways in it? This is weird. Whoa, 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 whoa! Why is it throwing me out of it? Why is it throwing me out of it? Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm like my my heart's beating right now. Ooh. Okay. Yep. So I filled up with blood. Also, this acts like water, so you can also uh come up here and hoe this and fill it. Hey, pig. Wait. Eh. Time to die, pig. <laughs> Time to die. Uh, you can also come up here and ho hey, get out of here. <laughs> come up here and hoe the land and plant crops and stuff. It's pretty sweet. So now that we have a water can, we can just uh, kind of splash our splash away to victory. Uh, 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 broken legs. Okay, let's come back here and let's start watering this stuff. And I'm actually kind of sad of how pitiful <laughs> this little building looks. It looks like crap. But let's go ahead and water this stuff. And it should make these berries grow faster. And it, you can actually water these. Uh, constantly and it'll grow the berries faster too so i could just uh sit here and kind of water them and they're going to give me berries a lot faster so a uh, water can equal is op op status so let's go ahead and throw these guys in here oh and look i got five so uh this is going to smelt into tin iron so really it's not that hard to get resources and it's uh it's pretty sweet so let's go ahead and grab this iron out and grab this and then uh put the questing book right here Let's go ahead and manual tech turn this in, and it gives me 16 iron ingots. And I'm going to get uh, aluminum, gold, iron, uh, a copper, or aluminum, tin. Hmm. I think I'm just going to get more iron, probably. It doesn't matter, anyways. I'm just. Uh, so let's open up these. Ro Ooh, a safari nets. Nice. Wolf and a heat scar spider. That's horrible. Oh, and I got some ap apple and bread. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this up here. So now what we're going to be doing, now that we have a watering can, we get all kinds of cool resources, and I have this crappy little building here. Uh, one last thing before I end the video here is uh, let me – let me. so the, also one thing you want to do probably when you first uh, get uh, some iron is you probably want to put a hopper on the side of this because, as you know, as a person, you can only insert one item in here. But a hopper can insert up to 64 items. So you could actually have 64 items uh, processing at the same time instead of only one one item. So it goes through a lot faster. The only problem with that is you're going to have to have a lot more blood uh, be because all kind of processes at the same time. So you're going to have to have a lot more blood at the same time. But it'll help you. For example, if I chop down a crap load of trees, get a bunch of wood, have I have 64 of the chopped wood that looks like a compass. Throw it all in here, all 64 is going to come in here, and then it's all going to turn into oak planks at the exact same time. So it kind of speed, speeds up your progress, and that's just a little tip for advice. Uh, before we end the video here, I'm going to see what else we got. So we got, uh, I need to make some um, fluid ducts, and the way you actually make some fluid ducts in this, since I have a bunch of copper ready, I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, right there, you just need straight up copper, you don't need actual lead, which is sweet. I'm going to uh, take, I'll take some more, uh, uh, actually, oh, so now now I have to make a portable tank. So to make a portable tank, I'm going to get some more fluid ducts here. And then you just do a portable tank like this. Sweet. Done. Perfect. And claim reward. Nice. So I get all of this stuff. I have an extra heart now. So let's go ahead and grab that. And boom. Consume it. Perfect. Now that we have that done, we have now unlocked this. So uh, this is actually requiring me to um, go to the other place way past there. And I'm not going to spoil that. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you guys enjoyed this uh, video or this mod pack, uh, make sure to click the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I love y'all's faces. And I'll see you next time. And one final word before we end here. The, one of the reasons I like this so much is because pretty much all the new mod packs that I've been checking out kind of makes you think differently and makes like you do things different ways. Like Material Energy is about Mind Kim, Golem Factory. Use Golems to do all of your stuff. Um, Agrarian Skies really... Um, you know, change the way things wo uh, worked with X Nihilo and stuff. Um, even though X Nihilo is whatever, you guys understand. Crash landing, it's all different. All adds different things, and I, I really like this one because it's unique. Uh, I think the whole blood magic thing is really cool, and I like that this actually has mods that you don't necessarily would see in a normal hardcore questing mode pack or a normal like feed the beast. Like uh, you have um, witchery and mechanism and a lot of neat mods that i think really make this pack unique so i'm gonna end it there hopefully you guys enjoyed and i'll see you for the next video